The NTSB team decides to examine all of the factors affecting human behavior, including a new field of research. For the first time, as far as I know, in a report, the circadian rhythms, the biorhythms, the day and night functioning of the body was seriously taken into account as a possible explanation of why an extremely experienced Boeing 747 captain didn't notice things that to other pilots might have seemed obvious, such as the fact that his airplane was busy flipping on his back when he was attempting to deal with an engine problem. Although Captain Ho had the required 15 hours off duty before flying that day, the NTSB investigators take a closer look at the captain's schedule before the night of the flight. I do not think I was fatigued. I can't say I slept well during the flight. This accident occurred at what would be about 2 a.m. local time. And that's pretty significant. Most people are asleep around 2 a.m. So this uh, incident occurred at a, at a point in his, what are called circadian ry rhythms, in his body clock, where he would be uh, at his deepest sleep. Uh, I remember also that he had, he had gone back uh, into, there was a crew rest area on 747, and he said he'd rested for five hours and slept for two. But another thing I remember from his interview is he said, uh, you never really sleep well on the airplane. Uh, Captain never sleep well during the flight. I worked many years for this airline, but I never had this problem before. That seemed uh, like a very true statement. Uh, you know, it's hard, it's hard to get a, a really solid sleep uh, on the airplane, particularly if you're the person in command, as, as he was. Uh, 